Hello everyone and welcome again to the Johnny Appleseed Organic Village. I'm here today with Michael Leach from Bee Friends Farm for the second in our series on beekeeping and for today's video we're going to build a beehive. <laughs> So I think a great way to begin today's video is to talk about the tools and materials that we're going to need to complete this project. So I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. So today we're going to need a hammer, uh, a drill with a small uh, 16th inch drill bit, um, some, some nails, number six penny or seven penny, and a bottle of wood glue. And we're also going to use a, a narrow crown um, stapler to help with some of the assembly today. Perfect. What about these materials here, the wood materials? Okay, yep, the bee, this is uh, the beehives. They're, you can buy them from your local bee supply stores, um, either unassembled as we have it today, or you can purchase it already fully assembled if you don't want to go through the process. And if you're really crafty, you can actually go through the process of fabricating your own, which is kind of a fun hobby to do, and a lot of people get uh, into that. Yeah, probably find a tutorial online, or maybe we'll make one later. Yeah, you can find some plans online for the dimensions, and. How to construct your own boxes at home if you have the tools and know-how. Perfect. All right. All right. Well, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and get started on assembling these. All right. So we're going to start by assembling our uh, hive body. It's the largest of the three different size hive bodies that we could put together. And Mike's going to lay this parts out and build out the box first. Just step in real quick and say one thing for the, the new new beekeepers at this. One common mistake that they'll that you can make is accidentally putting the handhold to the inside of the box. Mm -hmm. So just be aware that you want to put the handhold to the outside of the box when you're assembling it. Alright, so next we're gonna go ahead and we've uh, put our box together roughly and we're gonna pre-drill for the nail locations. This is important so that we don't uh, split out the wood when we're nailing it together. If one of your joints might have a knot in it when you buy it, um, you can go ahead and skip that one just to prevent from blowing, knocking the knot out of the wood altogether. Glasses for all your nailing. Now there is a little bit of debate about the box joints when you're assembling them on whether to use glue or not to use glue. Um, I haven't felt like that. I've needed glue. It's a cross nailing pattern that we're using so the, the joints tend to stay very tight but if you feel like you want a little extra uh, bond go ahead and add the glue before you do the nailing all right now that Mike has assembled our high body and it's all nailed up real tight and square we're going to go ahead and move on to the frames now so we'll set this out of the way. The frames are what the bees uh, build their comb and their home on. And it consists of uh, these few wooden pieces. We've got two end bars, the bottom bar and a top bar. And for this, we'll need to have some glue. And we're gonna use today a pneumatic stapler to help us put it together uh, efficiently. So we're gonna start off by taking two end bars our glue, put a little glue on the insides of the bars, I take those and we put it down onto our top bar. They have uh, the dados and rabbits already cut in them for to go together. And then we're going to glue our other end. This just takes a little drip on each end, put in our bottom bar. And then we're using a, a quarter narrow crown stapler 
today. I like to put in two staples on the bottom, one on the right, one on the left. Same thing on the top bar. One a little to the right, one a little to the left. And that's our frame. Pretty easy. All right, so we've assembled up uh, 10 of our frames to fit into our 10 frame high body. And the only thing left to do is to take our uh, foundation. And this particular foundation is a, made from plastic with beeswax coating on it. And we place it in the bottom groove first, and then we snap it into the top groove. And that's all there is to it. All right, so we've uh, done all the assembled parts. Now, when you purchase your equipment from your piece of high, most of the time, the bottom board of the hive, this is like the floor, it comes pre-assembled. So you won't have to usually put those together. So it would go down on your stand first. You'll then take your completed hive body with all the frames and the foundation assembled. And that'll be placed like this. And the final component to this hive is the cover. And again, the covers are typically uh, already pre-assembled at your supplies. This would uh, complete the, complete, uh, the first stage of the hive. This uh, opening is for the bees to enter and exit the hive throughout the day. All right, thank you guys for joining us for this video on building your own beehive, and thank you to Michael Leach from Bee Friends Farm for joining us to walk us through the process. This is the second in a series of beekeeping videos, and I think the next one is probably going to be setting up the hives, but I'll let you tell people about that. Yeah, we're gonna uh, talk about the painting. The next step is painting the hive, and then we'll go ahead and place it out into the apiary on its bench, and we'll discuss that as well as future episodes of installing the bees into the hive. Awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out Johnny Appleseed Organic on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Bee Friends Farm also on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks. Catch you guys next time.